Pride, it's your boy Savio, back at again with another reaction video. I was not planning on doing this video today, but as I was getting ready to record, some people on my Discord let me know that this video had just come out, and I was super intrigued to see what it was. They sent me the link to it, and I could see like the thumbnail looked kind of animated, and so my interest was peaked, and now we're doing this video, and the video that I plan on doing today, I'm just gonna push back, okay? Okay, so this video is TakeOver and it has a bunch of artists on it. The only artist that I'm really familiar with of the three, I say a bunch, there's three of them, is Max. Max just came out with a single with Sugar that was awesome. You should go listen to that. He's a great singer. I have heard a couple A Day to Remember songs, but I don't really know them that much. And Henry, whoever that is, I'm completely unfamiliar with their work. So I I don't know what to expect coming into this, but given that Max is kind of like a pop-ish singer, I'm assuming that it's gonna be down down that vein, maybe. Um, but I know that uh, the, what's it called? Worlds or whatever, the, the big league competition is coming up soon. So this is probably in promotion of that, like a bunch of other videos that I've done. So. Without further ado, we're gonna get into this, see what they have for me today, and see how this video goes. So, I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace. Okay, that started very quickly. I was not expecting that. Uh, they were like racing on their bikes. He hit the brakes, trying not to hit a cat. And I thought he was about to get hit by a bus and get isekai'd, but he didn't. Some dude showed up and gave him a amulet, infinity stone. I, I don't know what that is. As far as the beat, interesting. The main focal points of the beat so far have been this like really like chunky pulsating bass. It's like, it's almost like an EDM bass with whoever the the singer's vocals are mixed above it there are like percussion produ there is product i speak english sometimes there is percussion production on the song but it's mixed way in the back the snare that they have so far is pretty hard hitting so it's not like falling back and being forgotten but it is definitely not the focal point so far. The melody so far is being driven by that bass and then just the singer is way out front over top of it, almost in a communicative way, which is, as I've touched on this channel before, a great way to really like almost talk to the listener, to have like an intimate conversation with the listener and make it feel more personal. So um, we'll see how this goes. I just, sorry, I didn't expect that to just Boom, now we're here. For the long run, strap in for a long one. We got everybody on one. Now you coming at the king, so you better not miss. And we only get stronger. With everything I carry up on my back, you should paint it up with a target. Oh. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit, but um, that was fine. Okay, sorry, I was getting caught up in the in the visuals and the the beat going at the same time. The vocals switch from being out there in front by themselves, with all the production being back, with the exception of the bass that I was talking about, to everything kind of coming towards the forefront when the chorus hit, and it being it's sounding more whole and less someone talking over a synth bass and they start they added another bass in there this time it was like an 808 bass and that was that was knocking with the the really punchy kick that they had to really fill out the lower end of this song um as far as like what's going on visually he put the little amulet of power the little you know power rangers rock whatever whatever that thing is that he has into some little port like indiana jones and it he like again isekai'd into the the game and then immediately got killed so uh 
Not sure what that's about, but I mean, he's not, this isn't SAO. He seems alive, I think. Hopefully. I think he's alive. He just, you know, got booted from the game. So we'll see where this goes. But that was, that was pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting, this is moving pretty quickly as far as the, the production and the song is going. So, or the production and the video is going. So trying to keep up with everything has been interesting. Okay, I know people are gonna complain that I'm stopping too much, but like there's there's a lot going on here. That guy, real quick, the like friend guy who gave him the amulet. Is that the same guy from the uh the rise video at the end? The guy with the grimoire and um you know what I'm talking about. He fights through all, all the champions and gets to like the last guy. You told me he was like a super famous, he was like the Michael Jordan of this game, and he has glasses. And when he uses the grit, he like closes it and his hair goes like Super Saiyan. Is that the same guy or am I just bugging? Like, is this just another nerdy character? Or is this guy like a part of this like connected universe? He's like the Stan Lee of this, this league you. Is, is that a thing? Is this a thing? Are all of these connected? Okay, whatever. We're going to keep going. But just he, he reminded me of that guy from that video. Okay, that uh, run it back, run it back, run it back now, where the, the beat cuts in and out. If you notice through this song, that's happening a lot where the beat cuts in and out. That particular section reminds me of uh, run it back, run it back, run it man from um, Giants. I think that's Duckworth, but don't quote me on that. During that section, not that specific part, even though it's the, the same lyrics, right before that, he says something like... Um, they be like or something of that effect and he's like they be like they be like yeah they be like they be like what you mean i'm the winning scheme something like something like that during that section they also cut out the beat to give it like a a glitchy kind of effect and they did that again here for run it back run it back and if you notice throughout this song and throughout a lot of the league songs that i've heard they use a technique where they like will mute or cut out sections or the entire production and so it creates a a silence to almost like grab your attention if you weren't really paying attention and that kind of reminds me of um there's a french composer from a long time ago who got famous for uh, coining a phrase music is the silence between the notes and that's kind of what the producers at riot records which is what i'm calling the the, the riot musical faction at this point um that's kind of what they've been doing a lot in these songs and i i just think it creates not only motion in the song but also it it really if you were just aimlessly listening having the beat cut out like that while the person is talking will snap you back into focus so i think that's a really great thing that they are implementing no thank you dreaming of greatness send you back home let you wake up Be ready. Come and get your spoiler. We're taking over. We're taking over. Hey, look at you coming on me. Okay, real quick before he, he fights the next champion, this reminds me 
so much of rise and maybe i'm just saying that because the the mentor guy who's like been watching him and helping him this whole time he reminded me of like the end guy but the, the fighting through champions in rise the guy doesn't die he just kind of like molly wops everybody he comes across and this this guy is like dying and and using that experience to grow better each time he comes back to the game and then he's taking the person's weapons that's what happens in rise like he kills the people and he takes all their weapons that spear looks like the spear from the rise video and just the process of like going from champion to champion to champion i mean he literally in rise climbs the mountain versus this guy isn't really climbing mountains but you get my point they go through like a variety of different settings fighting a variety of different opponents and growing stronger over time and so um yeah I don't know if these, if these two things are connected or if like all of their world's videos are like that, like kind of symbolic of the process. I mean, this one's like more direct. The other one was more symbolic, uh, but symbolic of the process of like climbing the ladder. But I think that's dope. Okay, that's the that's the chick from the beginning, right? Okay. Anyway, so one, I think it's dope that they made his. Well, I guess that's not his final opponent. It's his final opponent before like this like tournament or whatever. But I think it's dope that like his. I'm assuming that's his mentor. It looks just like the character from earlier, who I still think is the character from the Rise video. Whatever. Point is, the guy with the glasses. I think it's dope that his mentor ended up being his um, like final opponent like the final boss because it's very symbolic of like as you climb the ladder in any field the people who you once idolized who were once either directly or figuratively your mentor who kept you coming back when things got difficult who inspired you to grow eventually when you get high enough you'll look up and you'll realize not only are those people your peers but in some cases they may be your competition now it's like it's like Drake says, your idols become your rivals. And so I think that was like a, a super dope way of showing that because anyone who starts the game fresh, they will idolize these great players. And then as they get better, eventually they will have to face against these great players in like matches and tournaments and whatever. Also, his friend who he like completely abandoned in the beginning of the video is also apparently super beast at this game let me know like what players these people are supposed to represent because i know in the rise video they're players of the games so i'm assuming these are play like it's, it's kind of on the nose that these are players and also katie has a different animation style that's more 3d this is more like 2d anime type stuff yeah okay Dope. Is he just like watching them fight? Legit. Okay, so I wanna to touch on two things that I didn't touch on during the video as to try to not make like the reaction section too long for the people who don't actually care about my overall thoughts on it. One. That section at the end, like the second or third verse with the rapper, I did not expect that to be in a different language. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say it's Korean, given that all of the other Asian rapping that I've heard in Riot music has been K-pop rappers, uh, specifically uh, Soyeon, I think that's how you say her name. Like she's like the most famous one with KDA and with uh, True Damage, but clearly she's not a part of this. Uh, so is Henry 
the 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 K-pop rapper dude who I'm hearing is that if so is his stage name Henry like is, is, what's that about okay how did how did that happen during that section they did a very interesting thing where they like really cut out a lot of the production where it was just at atmospheric noises like an atmospheric pad maybe um and then the super super great 808 so the the earlier synth bass uh that they had in the intro going into the first chorus was removed and then the 808 bass that they brought in during that first chorus was what was playing the bass line during that section and the production became more i don't want to say complex but it, it it became more complex during that uh, as far as the low end so all of the the kick the drum and then again the bass um all of that was more complex than it was earlier and maybe that was just to help the rapper catch a flow but it was cool i liked it i was really distracted by like the whole fight scene that was going on there because that was just awesome dude let go of all of his weapons and he was like dude, we just gonna duke it out like rock lee and mike guy so that was dope and uh, yeah, I digged it. Overall, the story of the video was very, very reminiscent of the Rise video. Again, I went, I actually went and watched the Rise video in between that and then filming this outro just to make sure I wasn't bugging. And I was right, like this is, this is basically Rise, but like less metaphorical. He was literally, like we watched him play the game and die over and over and over again and then grow to the point where he was going for the like, trophy or whatever i don't know what it's called i really enjoyed this um it's very similar but also different to rise but i also really loved rise and i really enjoyed this i think the singing on rise is better but i think the production on this i like better and they even use like similar vocal effects and vocal tuning for the singers on both of those songs was, was this like the same producers and studio engineers who worked on this or is this just like riot being like hey you know rise do that but like it's this is like one of those times where your friend like doesn't do the homework he's like hey let me copy your homework you're like okay but don't do all the same answers that that's this song it you both get a's but just differently and so um yeah let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below tell me if you prefer this or rise i think I think I prefer Rise over this one, but I'm gonna have to like listen to this more to figure that out between the two. But let me know what you think between the two and definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. For my League watchers, I do plan on reacting to Phoenix and um, there's one other thing that you guys have been telling me to react to that I can't think of right now, but that's also on my list of things to react to. So definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that and I will see all you guys next time. Have a great day.